Right, today we are going to be building a Vimshurst machine. Let's get started. Our first step is to install the two Leyden jars. A Leyden jar is a basic form of a capacitor. It has tinfoil on the inside, which will be picking up a negative charge. And on the outside, we've got another layer of tinfoil. That layer of tinfoil will be having a positive charge due to the electrons on the outside being repelled by the large amount of electrons on the inside. We're going to wire up these Leyden jars. And now we're going to connect these up with a contact plate on the top. We're now going to start building the main body of our electrostatic generator. Two of the most important components are these discs with metal plates. That is where our charge is going to be generated. Now this is going to take a bit of time to put together, so we have time-lapsed a lot of this footage. Attached to the stand with these two plates are a series of brushes. That is what will be striking against these metal plates and generating our charge. The next thing we'll be putting on are these rubber bands. These will be driving the flywheels. The second band to go on needs to be twisted across itself. The reason for this will, be co will become clear shortly. The next step on this main structure is to install the crank so that we're able to drive the two flywheels. And now this is all running. But I did say it would become clear why one of the rubber bands needed to be crossed over itself. This is actually to drive one of the flywheels in the opposite direction. This will allow us to generate two opposing charges. We now need to fix this structure to the main body of our Vimshurst machine next to our Leyden jars.
the final step is to install the spark gap. Now on this structure we have got a hook which will be collecting the charge from the flywheels and a spring that will travel down into the Leyden jar. This will be moving electrons into our Leyden jar capacitors. The ball on top of these sticks is where our spark gap will be generated. And now we can see if it works. And sadly that does bring us to the end, but please do tune in next week where we'll be exploring the effects of a vacuum on sound. But until then, thank you very much for watching, please do share, like and subscribe, and carry on learning. Bye!